it's an external entropy in the context of a more complex example and see how that is used in the decision tree um, for calculating information gain. So we saw in the previous video that entropy is given by minus probability of the positive class log to the base 2 probability of the positive class minus probability of the negative class log to the base 2 probability of the negative class. So now let's see how this entropy can be calculated for an example that is on the left. So now we have different attributes, outlook, temperature, humidity, wind, and your decision, final decision, play tennis. So you want to use the decision tree to predict play tennis. That's your goal, right? So this is your entire data, data, all the data instances. So what is S? So S, S is your data instances, your data, right? From our coin example, we had five uh, tosses and four tosses. We looked at a couple of examples and that's our data. But here, now we look at all the different attributes, their values, and the final decision play tennis. This is now our data. So for the data on the left, now we want to calculate entropy of the entire data. So entropy now is calculated with respect to the different classes. So there are two classes here, right? Play tennis value is equal to yes, and play, play tennis value is equal to no. So if we count the number of yes in the left, then we have uh, D3, D4, D5, D7, D9, D10, D11, D12, and D13. All these are the positive examples. So there are nine positive examples. And five negative examples. So the entropy calculation becomes 9 out of 14. 14 is your entire data instances. So 9 minus 9 over 14, log to the base 2, 9 over 14. Minus 5 over 14, log to the base 2, 5 over 14. So this is going to be your entropy calculation for the data set on the left.